It's 10 o'clock. Now, Fox 35 News you need to know. You know, when looking to book a flight, the first place that most people go would be online. Well, now, one of the most popular websites is promising a faster and a more flexible way to find the cheapest fares out there. Google Flights just launched last week. Doesn't seem fair, does it? Fox 35's Steve Gelbach taking a look to see if it is ready, though, to take off. The first thing you notice on Google Flights is an interactive map showing you where you are and lets you pick where you want to go. I'm anchored here in Orlando. And let's say I want to go to, uh, let's go to Boise. So I'll click Boise. The site then lets you change dates, filter by price, or pick a specific airline. It's showing a layover at this particular one, all the different connecting flights, etc. Tom Jelnick, president of On Target Web Solutions, got a little frustrated, though, navigating Google Flights. This is so new that I think um, they're still working kinks and bugs out. But he likes the clean and simple look that Google is known for and thinks it could compete with the biggest competitors, Kayak and Bing. Like those sites, Google Flights searches but then directs you to the airline's website to actually book and pay. I think it'd be great if you could actually book it right there at Google um, and not have to keep jumping to different sites and jump through hoops. And for now, Google Flights only lets you search domestic, round-trip, economy-class flights and leaves out some smaller airports like Sanford Orlando International. But on its blog post announcing the launch, Google says this is just an early look and they plan to update the options soon. To get there now, you simply type in Google dot com slash flight but the idea is eventually you go to the main google page type in where you want to go say orlando to boston search and those flights should pop up as the first thing now if you include the word flight in the search a tab does appear on the left side of the screen to take you there google makes its money by keeping people on the side and clicking no matter what you're looking for you know at the end of the day it's all about the revenue and um, if google can integrate this well they could have a solid product steve gelbach fox 35 news